Hello, welcome back to um, from Model Sheet to Model series. Uh, this next section we're going to work on UVW unwrapping and um, setting up pelt mapping. From there, I want to go into mud box in the next section and do some um, some work on there for extracting a normal map. Anyway, the model looks quite different from the last time. Obviously, it's half the model. There was something else I did. I utilized um, something in the graphite tools that I wanted to share with everyone. As you could see, um, the old model had triangles here. Um, this one doesn't. It's all quads. Uh, I went through the whole model and took care of the quads. And I did that fairly easily with the new tool in Max. If you go here on your editable poly and you have it selected, on the graphite modeling tools, under geometry all, click there and you have quadrify all. What that does is that seeks out the triangles in your mesh and um, converts them to quads. Um, so there you have it. Um, and that's what I did to get rid of the all the triangles I had. Uh, so, also the last time, sorry, I had technical issues last night working on this. I was recording. Um, the zombie mesh. Let's go back to the front here. You see it's nice and even. Before my tongue was uneven, so I had to change the vertices on that. So that now, um, what happened before is I had a split in the tongue which I fixed. So anyway, I'm going to get with the UVW unwrapping and the pelt mapping. Um, one important thing is uh, UVW is really difficult for me to understand at first. I come from old school 3D apps that didn't use UVW and you know reading the books and going through the Max help files and reading tutorials and stuff like that, watching different videos, all helped me understand UVW on RAP, but none of them really demonstrated it with a humanoid type figure, biped, that's to say, you know, two arms, two legs, a head, a torso. But I did find one on YouTube, which I want to plug here, I told them I would. Excellent three part tutorial on UVW mapping and unmapping, unwrapping in 3D Studio Max by user. IWKYA number one right here um, so definitely if you're into the way I'm about to work on this in UVW Unwrap I'm not going to go into all the details explain why you want to do it this way I'm just going to do it I mean this is a school project that I'm just kind of dragging you guys along for the ride so until um, you know, if you're new to this and you really want to understand it more and why things are done a certain way and why certain setting, settings are the way they are, I'll try to cover as much as I can, but I'm going to be moving pretty quickly. Um, so go visit, go visit this guy, IWKYA1, on YouTube and check out his videos. He goes into a lot of technical details um, involving why you may or may not want to choose. Um, a certain way you know his technique I like his technique it works well for me I understand it so that's what I'm gonna go with next clicking on editable poly I want to go to UVW unwrap or unwrap UVW we got this selected um, let's click on edit. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to flatten our map. So let's come out a little bit. Uh, won't let me do that. Alright, what problem am I having here? Oh. Polys flatten mapping. Um, 
We're going to bring the threshold up pretty high. Bring it up to about here. Just so it's less pieces. The lower that number is, the smaller the pieces it's going to break it up into. Um, again, watch those other videos to explain a little bit more about it. So, the next thing I'm going to do is um, come in here. I only want to do half of them, so I'm going to select Ignore, my ignore back facing is selected. Let's start down here. Um, I'm going to select the front half of these pants. Probably going to want to zoom in here as well. So it looks like I grabbed some of the shoe I don't want. And um, rotate this up a little bit. This, this, this. Select these guys. Select these guys. Make sure I have everything that's involved with these pants selected. And if I don't, I could always fix it later and we'll show how. I'll show you how. <coughs> Okay. I think we're okay right now. If we're not, we'll find them later. So this is the front of the pants leg that I just selected. Um, that's good. Um, because these are jeans, I'm gonna, I want the seam, you know, I could set up the seam right down the side here and on the inside, which is where my texture is actually going to create a seam. Um, I'm going to draw it. You know, like where your jean pants get on. Um, oh, what did I do here? There we go. <coughs> so from here, um, we're going to choose planar to try and flatten this out a bit, separate it from the geometry in there. We'll click planar. Um, and let's see how that looks here. Uh, it actually doesn't look too good. Take that off and go quick planer. Much better. Now at least it looks like the pant leg. Alright, so from there, I'm just going to move you off to the side for now. Because um, I want to separate out all my pieces. So let's come here. Oh, there's nine minutes. I'll come back with more in just a bit.